your layer hierarchy over here dictates the order that your layers are rendered. By default, if a layer is above another layer, it will be rendered above it, as you'd expect. However, there will be times when you want to render a layer below another layer, even if it's above it in the hierarchy. And to do this, we can use draw rules. For instance, if I select my square, I can go over here to draw order and click plus. This creates a new draw rule. However, you'll notice above it, we have normal selected. This simply means that the draw order will be whatever it is in the hierarchy. Going back to our new draw rule, I'm going to call it square under circle. And we can now go into its settings and I can say that I want it to be below the target. And then I can set the target to be the circle. So we're essentially saying that the square will be below the circle when this draw rule is activated. And we can go back and forth between normal and the square being under the circle. It should be noted that the target that you set within a draw rule can only be a shape layer. You cannot set a group or bones as a target. As an example of using a draw rule in an animation, here I have a very simple earth. And as you can see, the moon is moving in front of the earth. However, when the moon gets smaller, I want to activate a draw rule that will draw the moon going behind the earth. So I'm going to highlight my moon layer and go over to the draw order and create a new draw rule. And I'll call it moon under earth. Then I'll go into its settings and I'll say below target and I'll set the target to be the earth. Now I can go to the beginning of my timeline and set a keyframe for it to be normal. But as you can see, this isn't setting a keyframe. I'm guessing this is because this is the default. So I'm just going to click here, which creates a keyframe. And then I'll click back to normal. Then I'm going to move forward to where I want it to change so that the moon goes under the earth. And that'll be around here. Now I can set a keyframe for that. And that should be it. Press play. It should be noted that you can create as many draw rules for each layer as you want. So if you ever build a character rig, you can use multiple draw rules to make the rig as flexible as possible.